Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Imagine your friend says, Hey, let's go watch a movie this afternoon at 3.30. You're super excited. Wait, but how are you going to know when it's time to go? Well, if you can tell time, you can look at the clock and know when it's 3.30 and when it's time for the film. Let's take a look at a clock and see what it looks like at 3.30. Now you may remember that a clock has two hands. The short hand is the hour hand. For the time 3.30, the hour is 3. So the hour hand is just past the 3 on the clock. And it may look strange because the hour hand doesn't point directly at 3, but that is because it isn't exactly 3 o'clock. It's past 3 o'clock. In fact, it's 3.30. So the hour hand is a little past the 3. The long hand is the minute hand. And for the time 3.30, the minutes are 30. On the clock, 6 represents 30 minutes. So the long hand points to the 6. When the clock looks like this, we know it's 3.30. And it's movie time. And now we know how to read an analog and a digital clock. Right, except that it isn't yet 3.30. This is the actual time. So let's figure out what time it is. First, look at the hour hand. Okay, the hour hand is still pointing between the 3 and the 4, and that means the hour is 3. And now let's look at the minute hand. Okay, the minute hand is right on the 3. We have to figure out how many minutes that means. Well, we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour, and so we can skip count by fives to figure this out. 5, 10, 15. So there are 15 minutes. And this means it must be 3.15. Awesome! Not too long until it's movie time! That was really cool how we could skip count by fives to help figure out the time. And this is because the space between every two numbers on a clock represents five minutes. The clock shows 12 o'clock right now, so starting there, you can skip count by fives around the clock like this. 12.05, 12 12.10, 12.15, 12.20, 12.25, 12.30, 12.35, 12.40, 12.45, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, then instead of 60, a new hour begins and we're back to zero minutes. And in this case, it's one o'clock. Now let's use what we've just learned and practice telling time on a few different clocks. Every morning, Eric gets up for school at the same time. At what time does Eric get up for school? First, let's look at the hour hand. We can see that it's between the six and the seven. So the hour is, that's right, six. Next, look at the minute hand. It's on the nine. Now you might remember how many minutes 9 represents. But if you don't, you can always count by fives. So let's do that. Starting from number 1 on the clock, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So Eric gets up at 6.45 for school. Oh. But does Eric get up at 6.45 a.m. or 6.45 p.m.? Oh, a.m. and p.m. help us to identify the section of the day. A.m. is for the morning and p.m. is noon or 12 p.m. and everything after. Now here's a way to help you remember. A comes before P and therefore a.m. comes before p.m. So does Eric get up for school at 6.45 a.m. or 6.45 p.m.? Well, he gets up for school in the morning, so we know that Eric gets up for school at 6.45 a.m. Great work! Now the clocks below show when Eric eats breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And here are three different times. Uh-huh. Let's match the times to the correct clocks. First, breakfast. We can see the hour hand is between the 7 and the 8. And this means the hour is 7. And the minute hand is on the 1, so this means 5 minutes. So breakfast time is 
Ooh, but there are two 7.05 answer choices. 7.05 a.m. and 7.05 p.m. Wait, breakfast is in the morning, so 7.05 a.m. Great job. Next is lunchtime. This hour hand is close to the one, but not quite. Aha, that means that the hour is still 12. The minute hand is on the 11. If you forget how many minutes that is, don't worry. You can skip count starting from the 1. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So lunch is at 12.55. And we know the choice that says 12.55 p.m. is correct because 12.55 is in the afternoon, so p.m. makes sense. Finally, dinner time. And there's only one choice left, 7.05 p.m., but let's make sure it makes sense. The hour hand is just past the seven, and the minute hand is on the one, which means five minutes, and dinner is in the evening, so the p.m. is right. Nice. Time flies when you're learning. You learned about telling time, and you learned how each number on the clock represents a number of hours and a number of minutes. You can count by fives to figure out how many minutes. You also know that a.m. means the time is in the morning, and p.m. means that the time is at noon or later. See you soon!